Today, we are talking all matters to do with interviews. How do you is your interview? And I will be discussing the main thing here is we are always, or when you're doing your interview, they are looking for the right match. And several things that you need to think about when you are preparing yourself for an interview, there are certain things that you should have like straight off the bat. Number one, I would say always dress professionally. When you're going for an interview, don't give them an, you only have one chance to make a first impression. Don't do a bad job doing that. So that comes in with your dressing. Number two, you need to arrive early. When I'm doing my interviews, when I'm uh, consulting, I don't give a chance to anyone who comes late, irrespective of how qualified, even if you are the best candidate, the first interaction we are having with you, you're coming in late, you are out, no doubt about that. The other thing that you need to think about is your body language. We communicate, yes, a lot with our mouth, we think so, but you will feel, uh, you realize that our words only make up about 30% of the communication that we send. The bigger majority of the communication we send is through our body language. How do you position yourself? How do you move your hands, your body? How do you sit? How do you stand? You can be able to communicate a lot. Think about your body language and we can even go into details if that is something that you're interested. I can tell you about different power poses. There's high power pose, there's low power pose and all that kind of thing. The other thing, expect the unexpected when you're going for an interview. Of course, normally you will think it's just a Q&A session where you're being asked questions and you're able to respond to them. But the tables can turn. You can be asked to ask them questions. Yeah. So it is very important for you to think about what questions are you going to ask in that interview. So that is just like the general outlook and how you can be able to prepare for your uh, interview. I am going to go into a bit more details in a short while when I look at some of uh, the questions that you expect to be asked in an interview and how you answer them. Let me just say thank you very much for everyone of you joining us. I can see Sandy joining us. So at this point, I want to invite you to post any questions you have in the comments, yeah? So this is the session where I will be answering any questions you have today. We are focusing more on um, interview interviews. If you have any questions, feel free to drop there. I can see that people say yes. Hello, welcome. Good. Ah, we already have the first question here for bros. What is the appropriate dressing for ladies? What do you think? What do you think? What is the appropriate uh, dressing? I would say this, always go in dressed professionally. If you can get a suit, that cuts it. Even for gentlemen, a suit works magic. Now for ladies, I know there's usually uh, some things that are professional or official, but they are in between, is it casual, all that? Just go with a suit, a skirt suit, trouser suit, whatever best fits you. But if you can present yourself in a very professional way, that would really, really work well for you. Okay, I can see someone say yes, they are ready. Feel free to drop in your questions in the chat and I'll be, and I also want to know, by the way, where are you joining us from? So just a quick roll call, type in, in the chat where you're joining us from. I'll be very happy to check that out and also uh, give you a shout out because you have taken your time to join us in this live broadcast. So let's look at, apart from this general overview, which is very important, there are also some other things which are very important when it comes to interviews. And the first thing I would want to say, you need to think about the kind of questions you can be asked in an interview. There are those what we call um, situation based questions, like what difficult problem have you faced and how did you approach it? Why did you leave your current job? That now would fall under traditional questions. And we also have behavioral questions. The assumption is if they can maybe deduce how you behave last time in a certain situation, then we can have an idea of how you can be able to behave and act in the future. And these are some of just the random questions you can get. Yeah, Describe a professional mistake that you have made. Not so many people are really in a position to talk about maybe a mistake they made in a professional way. So it is important for you also to think uh, about that. So I can see uh, some questions uh, coming in. So I'll just uh, jump into it. I can see Rose. Okay. Um, dress formally, it commands respect and communicate seriousness. Yeah, I think you are helping uh, Rose. Yes, it comes to as long as you are professional and especially for ladies, do not um, dress in a way that suggests you want to get this job 
in a different route rather than the professional way of doing stuff yeah uh, that would be very very important um, i would also mention to, uh, something to do with the colors uh, this again cuts across both gentlemen and ladies do not dress with very bright colors those like might end up looking like a clown yeah cool dark colors work black navy blue gray brown that would still work don't go with a yellow suit or a, uh, that luminous green or something of that sort yeah uh, but thank you very much for coming in and help. I can see GM joining us in Nairobi. I can see we have Sizwe joining us in Lusaka, Zambia. This is great. Uh, Arnold uh, saying, uh, joining us in Zimbabwe. Uh, Harare, powerful presentation ongoing. Thank you very much. I can see yeah, someone there saying hello. So I'm looking through. I will be answering any questions that you might be having. Rose, you have another question. What is the right posture? I am joining in Utawala, Nairobi. Okay, thank you very much. I can see today, Rose, you are on a roll. You have your questions. I'll be talking about the posture because also it plays along with the body language and all that. So hang on in there. Uh, Helen, you're joining us in Nairobi. Thank you very much. There's John in Zambia. Okay, someone in Zimbabwe. Let me just give you Another question, how do you answer the question, introduce yourself in order to give a good impression? Okay, this is good. Let me pause here. And uh, I think there's another question which is a little bit also related, explain about the body language. Let me talk about body language and also in terms of uh, the posture that uh, Rose had brought out. Now, how you position your body, it shows if you are confident of yourself, if you are uh, timid, or if you know what you're talking about. So the first thing I would say, you should have an open posture. An open posture, being able to use your hands just like me. I don't know if you can see, I am able to use my hands. I am sitting upright, like right now I'm uh, seated. I'm upright, chin up, looking straight into somebody's face. If um, it's a panel, I can browse across and see and smile and talk to them. So an open posture is very important. The um opposite of the open posture which is more of a power pose is more of an enclosed posture where you find some people closing in holding themselves like this the smaller you make yourself the less confident you will be so try as much as possible not to close yourself and make yourself small try to open up and you will realize that your psychology your physiology that is how you position your body will affect your psychology how you think and how you're able to uh, bring some of this thing up yeah hopefully that helps now the other thing talking with a lot of confidence and if you're not sure of something just say yes i'm not sure how can i uh, how what would be the right thing uh, or can you repeat the question some of these things they look very simple but they really help in terms of how you articulate yourself and how you present yourself um, in that case yeah uh, i can see a question from uh, master here how do you answer the question on introduce yourself in order to give a good first impression now the first thing i would say introduce yourself sometimes they go hand in hand with the question uh, tell us about yourself so this is how we do once you get into the interviewing room say hi to the people if i don't know if we are still um, open to shake hands but initially you, you go straight and shake their hand. If it is one person, if it is two people, right now with the COVID and all these protocols, just say, yes, good morning, good evening. My name is Daniel Mutuku. I am very happy to be here for the interview. Thank you very much. That simple statement opens up the conversation. You are given your name, they know why you're there, and then wait for them to invite you to sit. If there's a seat, don't give yourself a seat. And so they might also want to know and uh, now you can tell us about yourself now you can the two questions might be intertwined or when you're just seated and they tell uh, uh, tell you introduce yourself i would say you focus on four things yeah the first thing of course you need to mention your name say my name is daniel mutuku number two talk about your qualification and only relevant qualifications to the position that you apply of course you wouldn't start talking about your primary school your primary school your high school maybe your first degree if it is not related to this specific uh, job so you would uh, maybe put that away and then talk about your experience yeah so the first thing my name is Daniel Mutuku I went to school I did this course I have a certificate in this I have a certification I've done this uh, master class then you go to the qualification over the last 10 15 two three months 
I have been working in this company as this role and some of my responsibilities and my key achievements have been this and this and this. And then the fourth bit, and this is where most people don't really get to get to this point, is you try and connect your experience, connect your qualification to this specific job that you are interviewing for. So you would say something like, uh, based on my experience um, having worked here and this qualification, I believe that makes me the best, uh, the best and the perfect candidate for this position. I can come help you do this A, B, C, D. So in other words, in essence, you have converted the question of tell us about yourself to why you are the best candidate for that position. And of course, you can bring that in different ways, right? I know I've given it in a more general form. Um, I'm doing a video. Um, actually, let me just pause again here and say, mm -hmm. the, uh, one of the greatest resource that I do have here is my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel has a lot of resources. Uh, so if you go to you, just YouTube and search Daniel Mutuku, you will come across to my channel. And here, there's this bit. I have this um, section here, which has questions, uh, uh, interview questions. And actually, tell us about yourself, this one and this one here. I have broken it down and given real examples on how you can be able to answer that question of tell us about yourself. OK, sorry, I think it was a bit smaller. So just go to YouTube, just search my name, Daniel Mutuku, um, on the home tab, just scroll down to this interview question and answer because I show you how you can be able to answer this question plus real examples that you can copy and uh, paste. Is that okay? Okay, good. Let me see what questions again do we have here. I think I've already answered the one for that. Studios, hey Daniel, ha, welcome. I'm happy to see you. There's again someone in uh, Zambia uh, joining us. I can see a question here. This is Fenal Zero, yeah? For example, you are invited for a bank relationship officer interview. What kind of uh, question one should ask? Okay, when you are asked, like uh, you, you, you have gone to an interview and you're asked, what questions do you have uh, for us? It should be a question to show that you're really interested in the organization. And uh, let me, again, when you go to this YouTube channel, right here, there's a question, there's a video I've done about 10 questions you can ask, 10 smart questions to ask in an interview. But I'll give you the quick guidelines on how to go about it. The thing would be, number one, ask questions that are showing that you're interested about them, that you did a bit of uh, research about them and what they do. Like I can see you are venturing into this uh, new market. What is your strategy of getting the market share? I can see this is happening. Those would be good questions. Avoid questions that are showing your selfishness. Like when can I start? What is the, uh, the like, will I, or what, I'm, what is the package? How much should I earn? Uh, when do we have vacations and such stuff, yeah? So that would be a very good video. Check those 10 smart questions. They will really be of value to you. I can see Patrick joining us all the way in Nairobi. Mirema, you're saying, what is the best question to ask in an interview in case of a finance professional? Okay, again, I will direct you to that. Now, the good thing with that video is that I have shared general questions that will cut across irrespective of which profession that you're in. So those 10 smart questions have them at the back of you. And so Patrick, hope you get um, get value. Selena, thank you very much for joining us. You're in Nairobi. Oh, Selena Mutuku. I'm Daniel Mutuku, good to know. Ah, Brian, following, I can see we also have uh, Tekla from Nairobi. By the way, if you have any questions in regards to interviews, you don't know how to handle anything in an interview, feel free to drop that in the chat. That is what I'm going through, and then I'll be answering the question. Helen, do how do you approach a question Give us a case where you got into a disagreement with your boss and how did you handle it? Okay, this is what we call uh, a behavioral interview questions. And the essence of this is to figure out how do you deal with certain situations. And I will give you a quick um, formula 
and that is what we call SAR formula. Again, take the time after this. I can see you already on YouTube. Go to my channel home tab. In this section here, which we have the interview question, you can see this one, In uh, competency interview formula, SAR. Now, let me give you in general how it works. SAR is situation, um, there's the situation, there's the action, and there is the result, yeah? So this is how I would answer that question. So you will actually pick up a scenario where you had an argument or a disagreement with my boss and paint the context, yeah? There was this time my boss wanted us to do A, I felt B was the right thing to do. So you have created the situation, yeah? You can give it a little bit more details. This is just general. Then what action did you take? Having seen that we have a disagreement, I decided to put it to vote or we decided to uh, create a consensus and agree what would be the best thing to do. And once you have taken that action or yes, we argued or we put it to a vote or we asked for more information or I conceded and then what is the result that came out? The result was that having done that, this and this came out, yeah? So when you're asking um, competency-based or behavioral-based question, you need to paint the context, tell the action that you took and what was the result. Now, in this case, it does not mean that it should always be a favorite um, result, as in the result must not always that you were right, they were wrong, or yours was the better one, but they didn't take it. There's that. Uh, issue when it comes to especially disagreement with your boss where you say you disagree but you commit yeah so if we put it to a vote and it's we find out that everybody wants us to go with uh, plan a and you had plan b you say yes i agree everybody decided for plan a i disagreed but i committed to follow through with plan a not that you are doing it so that at the end of it you can sit back and say you see i told you so that would be a um, very wise th uh, thing you need to think about. Hopefully that was helpful. By the way, if you're getting value, if your answers, are, uh, the answers I'm providing to your question are making sense, just give me some thumbs up saying it's okay, value, value. Say something in the chat, I will come and check, at least to encourage me and also to see that I'm doing a good job. I can see Ellie joining us in Nairobi. How do you answer the question? What is your salary expectation? This is one of the most Re, uh, requested kind of question in terms of an interview. I have a very big resource, YouTube, just go to YouTube, search Daniel Mutuku, scroll down to this section where you have a uh, question, interview questions, and the question is here, this salary thing, the best way to answer the thing about uh, salary. However, it does not mean I will not give you some highlight, I will still do that, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the thing is, when you are answering about the salary, there's some few guidelines. Number one, never be the one who is bringing out the issue of salary first. Always let it be the interviewer or the employer or the recruiter, whoever it is. And once they bring out the uh, question, you should have a very clear figure in your head. This is what I want. Initially, a while back, I used to tell people you need to give a range say between this and this would be good for me but i nowadays discourage because let me give you an example when you go and say if you pay me between eighty thousand and one hundred thousand i'll be happy you say that the hiring manager or the other people on the table they will be hearing 80 and you you'll just be hearing you said 100. so there's a difference in terms of perception so when you're starting to negotiate they're negotiating from 80 and you're negotiating from 100. So what I would advise, give a figure, but you can also show that it is something that is negotiable. So when you say, on average, if I'm paid about 100,000, 180,000, I'll be comfortable, but I'm also open to discussion or negotiating. So state the figure that you need um, of your uh, salary. Okay, someone calling me to confirm that I'm here uh, live. Give me a minute.
sorry guys about that um uh, had to take care of some uh business but now here's the thing yeah um uh where was i at you have mentioned the salary this is the figure then you need to go and justify it most people start with justifying the salary how much should we pay you you know i have this and this and this you start justifying it before you state the figure so you justify it based on your experience based on your qualification and then finally what you do is you go ahead and invite them to show that it's kind of a negotiation it's not something that is uh fixed so when you talk about something like uh considering uh i, I would want to know also in your case in this position how much do you pay i'm open to negotiate and also to know what you are having on the table you see that makes more uh sense do you are you finding value early do you like uh get value from that oh brian joining us all the way in lusaka thank you very much i can see brian uh following in kenya online interview um on monday you have an online interview on monday actually i'll give you some tips on that don't worry i can see thank you very much yeah george nakuru uh there we go there's uh john a sh a from a sheet okay nigeria hopefully i did i slate that i don't know um explain about competency i think i've talked about that r s a r Re the situation the action and the results that you uh gave in i can see master motuko i send my cv for you but haven't received any okay i'll check on that please feel free to drop me an email my email is uh give me a minute daniel at career point co dot ke i'll pull it shortly now um ladies and gentlemen i want to believe that you're getting value out of this this has been a great session i still we can see we are 22 minutes in i would like to keep it between 30 and 40 minutes so i'll take up the questions that i've already seen so drop me an email i will follow up on your cv review right away um okay i can see more questions here coming in how could you answer the common question asked what are your weaknesses and what are your strengths strengths are usually not one of the difficult things to answer yeah but when it comes to weaknesses people get a bit uh held up so again go to youtube there's this video here here what is your weakness how do you answer question about your weakness so I will shamelessly keep on plugging in and say one of the greatest resource you can ever go to when you want to grow in your career, go to my YouTube channel. So far, over 71 subscribers, 30, 71,000 subscribers, people who have found value. You need to go and subscribe. There's that video about weakness right here, but I will give you some, again, quick guidelines, Mr. John. When it comes to strengths, it's not much of a hassle because you can say i'm good at this I'm good at this just pick a good strength that works for you but when it comes to weakness again you need to be very honest and open don't say you don't have any weaknesses because definitely we know that is a lie we are all human beings we have weaknesses so what you do then is to um think about a real weakness that you have and that not a weakness that is going to affect your line of work for example you cannot say that you are short-tempered and your job is in line or maybe customer care and you're dealing with people but you can talk about a weakness as if sometimes i really get impatient you can talk about i have poor i don't like speaking in public or public speaking is something that gives me anxiety or anything i'm not telling you to manufacture a lie have a real weakness that you have but once you mention it, go ahead and explain what are you doing about it? It's not like this is my weakness, deal with it. I have understood public speaking would be a key thing for me. Then I would need to learn about public speaking. Public speaking. I have joined Toastmasters. I'm reading a book. I'm in a club about improving my presentation skills. That would be a good one. Yeah. But go ahead, watch that video, get most of this information. I am joining from uh, Embakasi. Thank you very much. That is Irene. I can see how do you respond uh, when you talk about the weakness. I think I've already answered that. 
what uh, how do you answer what do you want uh, why do you want to leave your current uh job if you want to leave there are several reasons why people want to leave and one of the key things is people are living to get greener pastures so that can be a reason i'm looking for greener pastures um you can also talk about you're looking for an opportunity to grow maybe you have reached your limit in your current uh, job or in your current uh, position or in that company there is no more room for growth so you're pursuing more growth you want to uh, get new challenges and yeah that would be a good reason but it should be again a genuine reason don't bad mouth or trash you talk trash about your current employer your previous employer that doesn't usually work well i can see rogers joining us from eldoret uh saying this is good information i like that thank you very much rogers i can see rose again you pop in let's say you're going for an interview for marketing but you have a certificate in education but experience in marketing so how um will you answer the question about your qualification okay you talk about the qualification or the experience whatever you have in relation to that job so it does not mean that you need to stick to the script that you need to talk about qualification remember i said when you talk about qualification it should be qualification that is relevant to that job don't go and say what you don't have always focus on what you have and how that can help you do the job better is that okay and i think we should have another session and i will invite one of my friends and guests here to come and talk about especially that mismatch between uh, the kind of maybe certificate or degree someone did and the kind of experience and the job they have been doing which is usually a really uh, big turn off for people when they are not sure what they really want uh, to do in their future so i did education i ended up in banking or i did i don't know bachelor of commerce i ended up in uh sales and it it sometimes can get really uh confusing yeah one well, of these fine days we are going to shift um some of the programming that we have here but i'll give you more information about that thank you very much elvis joining us all the way in bungoma i can see you're hiring soon yes we do hiring send us your cv we can help you thank you for your response i'll check your video that is uh massa i really appreciate youtube would really be one of the greatest resource i usually say tori your question how do you answer the question how do you handle with a corrupt person in your organization number one they're looking for integrity how would you deal with that so the first thing of course if it is something that is uh not in line it's not ethically correct of course you should it engage with it and if it is someone uh your boss then you need to find ways of um reporting or mentioning it i know it's very difficult especially in government offices and i'm saying this being very cautious because most government even private sector there are some certain industries which are just corrupt and that is the way of life ask yourself do you want to get into that kind of system in the first place if it's going to corrupt your own beliefs and ethics up to you yeah chalo joining us all the way in kigali rwanda thank you very much dennis i really uh thank you for being there i can see alice hello there good to have you um good evening this is uh cool deep yeah cool deep hopefully i pronounce it correct hello <coughs> excuse me hello daniel john waiter joining in nairobi why should you uh would you leave why would you like to leave your employer X for Y? I think I've sorted that, I've answered that question. Um, how do you answer the question? Tell us about your personality and how it is important in this role. Okay, um, you, you just describe your personality and how it fits to that position. If it is more of a sales position and need someone who is outgoing, who is an extrovert, how does that fit? If you're more of a quiet, more detailed oriented person and you're doing more of the job that needs detail, connect the dots for them. Connect the dot for them. Rose, I can see you on a roll today. After this, you should be able to go and ace any of the next <laughs> interview that you go for. Can someone apply for a degree a requirement job using an experience? Yes, I usually say this. If the only thing when you read a job description, you should ask yourself, do I fit that job description? And if the answer is yes, go on ahead and apply. If the answer is no, but you fit at least 70%.
I would still advise you to go ahead and apply for that job. And so you will find that the 30% might be maybe the qualification or the experience you haven't met 100%. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and apply. What is the best way to answer the question on salary so you don't quote so high or so low? I think I've mentioned about that, but I'll also say go to YouTube, check my YouTube channel here. This section of actually there's this bit, even some of the things you should never say when you're talking about uh, salary negotiation. Ah, that would be a good one, yeah. And also watch this one about a uh, salaries. Is that okay? Also, we are coming almost to the end. Uh, I think the questions are over. I can see uh, Anu saying it's a good job joining us in Nairobi. Thank you very much. I can see Helen. Thanks for the response of the behavior. Yeah, you got value from it. Yeah, you know how now to deal with the behavior best. Most of the companies' organization are moving to case study presentation interview. How would uh, how to go about this type of interview okay where they ask you to do some research and then come and do some presentation number one the you, you need to improve your research and presentation skills in general but again it is dependent on the subject matter uh, so that you have a clear understanding of what is the subject matter is it finance is it fashion is it whatever industry it is do good research then work on how do you do your presentation if it is physical, if it is online, have things ready. Okay, yeah, by the way, somebody asked about an online uh, interview and how you handle that. I think I'm going to respond to it uh, shortly. And yeah, improve your communication communication uh, skills and presentation skills. Allow me to do this. I want to share another, this part, I think, so somebody asked when it comes to these interview things and you have to do it online and especially nowadays yes people are doing remote interviews both on phone or on video you need to still do the same kind of preparation that you do for a physical interview but this uh, time around a bit of more things you need to think about first of all have your tech uh, technology right test it out be there early try out does the mic does the speaker does the microphone, the camera work, have everything okay. Be in a very quiet place, that would be um, also very important so that you don't keep on, uh, don't strain hearing what they are saying and they also don't strain listening to you. So be in a quiet place, um, have stable network. And if you don't have stable network, just inform them, yeah, in our place we have normally problems with network, so please bear. With me. And again, think about your background, especially on an online presentation. Don't have a very busy background. Don't have so many things happening in the background. A plain background or a simple background, just like what I have here, is not disrupting you. It's not distracting you from what I am presenting. So that would be something important for you to have. Is that okay? Okay, good. So I think most of the questions I have been able to answer. Spirit actor, thank you. I might not have, uh, hello. Received job from NGOs as a volunteer in the PAL. Can I get paid or not? It depends with the different organization, which ones are there and what kind of um, opportunities they are offering. So I might not speak specifically to that. Saying um, hello to all of us. Thank you very much. I think that was by email address someone joining us in india hello this is edgar from uh, uganda i have um online test undp on wednesday i sent you an email but not respond okay sorry let me check i know i have had a bit of backlog over the weekend and yesterday but i'll check your email edgar yeah hopefully you got my email correct if i don't respond you can still forward it to daniel at careerpoint.co.k that would be the best one yeah Rose joining in Kiambu. Guess all questions have been asked for me. Rose, I'm very happy. By the way, if you have uh, value, if you found value in this session, just say thank you very much or just make a comment as I wrap it up. I will uh, give a shout out to each one of one with you. I can see here we have Sheila. Sheila joining us in uh, Kenya. Consider me for because you're jobless. Okay, thank you very much. Chibet, you're joining us in West Pokot County. Oh, I'm happy to see we are going over the borders and different. Um, Helen, why should we pick you? 
how do you go about this one why should you pick you this is again an opportunity for you to sell yourself and sell yourself very well so why should you pick you go ahead and talk about how you fit that job uh, look at some of the job description some of the roles in that job description some of the qualification and then match them to show that yeah you're looking for someone who can do abcd you should pick me because i have experience doing abcd i have been doing it for the last two three months or three years or ten years and i will come in and do a good job there yeah so focus back on the job description read through and show them that you are a best candidate it's just an opportunity for you to sell yourself once more ah i can see dennis uh talk about Basa. i'm alice in mombasa I have no job. Thank you, Alice, for joining us. What kind of job are you looking for? You can drop me an email. Thanks for the informative session. Oh, I think uh, now the thanks, the comments are coming in. Why should we hire you? Why should we pick you? Why you? Again, I think I've responded to that, Helen. Focus on the job description and how you are the best fit for that uh, position. Um, I think also I will mention I've done again another video on my channel on how you can be able to do exactly that i will repeat this so many times uh but bear with me see this video here why should we hire you i actually show you how you can be able to easily articulate your value yeah looking especially being guided by the job uh description oh for those who did see yes go to my youtube channel there's this one here called why should we hire you this one so when you're on youtube just search daniel mutuku scroll down to this uh, playlist called interview question and answer and then take a look at that video is that okay i can see still more comments given that there is a job advertised requiring four years of experience but with a degree but now the applicant has a diploma with experience we want to be qualified yes go ahead and apply don't let the degree be the only thing that is holding you back back if you can read the job description and you see that you can actually be able to do that job don't 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 hold yourself back go ahead and apply is that okay francisca jebet should one answer when they ask why I think I'm suitable for the position? Again, it's why should we pick you? Why should we hire you? Same strategy. Yeah. Advice on online, applying online via LinkedIn. Okay. I, I will do that. I'll do that. It might take a while, but it's very, it's dependent on several things. Number one, you need to have a very professional profile on LinkedIn so that when you're applying a job online using LinkedIn, they actually, it's kind of, they send your profile. Um, I've done a video on how to do LinkedIn, your LinkedIn, three key things you can do on LinkedIn, but it's a wide thing. I will take time. Rosalie, thank you for that. I might not be able to answer it right here. LinkedIn, it's a whole field by itself, but I can give you more information about that. Um, okay, thank you, Rose. You're saying it has been a nice session. I think uh, there we come to the end. Joyce, you're saying thank you very much. I appreciate that. Helen. You too, I can see also Andrew saying thank you, Mr. Mutuko, I really, um, that I've really explained the concern and address. Thank you very much. I can see great session. That is Patrick. Uh, shout out Ellie. Else, um, we have Alice. Yes, I can be able to help send me your CV. And there we have Helen Ruto. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been my time. I really appreciate We will doing a, a bit of some changes in our programming. On Tuesdays, yes, at 4.15, we will be coming here live, answering your questions. Um, then on Tuesday, on Wednesdays, uh, we will be having a guest speaker. Uh, as I mentioned here, yeah, I would want someone to talk about the idea of um, having one qualification and doing something else when there's that mismatch in the skill and all that. Um, so we'll be having that in, from Wednesday next week. So keep on checking on Wednesday at 4.15. Around there, we will be going live with that. And then Thursday, we normally have a webinar. Please, as you go to my YouTube channel, there is this section here showing all the live upcoming broadcasts. There's this live session coming in on Thursday, how to get a job with NGOs and international organization. Just go click on it and then click uh, set a reminder so that you can get to know when we go live on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Before I leave, I also want to mention that there is this big, also another free resource here. Uh, which is called 
when you go to our website you will be able to see this free resource so let me just take you through very quickly when you go to careerpoint.co.ke when you go to the home page there's this link up here just called the resources when you click on the resources this will take you to a point where you can access all the free resources that we are offering like on top there you can see we are giving out free cv review allow me to put this in the comment so i put that in the link i know people on linkedin um the comment does not normally show up on linkedin but don't worry just go to careerpoint.co.ke go to this section here called resources and as you can see you can be able to submit your cv for free review i'm also giving you the ultimate cover letter guide for free this helps you to write a very professional uh cover letter you will also get an opportunity to attend the free webinar that we are having on thursday you can still sign up for this you can go uh, learn how do you get jobs with the un if you are interested in online jobs we have a guide here 21 best and legit online jobs we also offer free career coaching you can book your session all this this we are giving all this stuff for free so again go to the link careerpoint.co.ke forward slash resources and you get a chance to get all these free resources when uh, i say when i say different hrs have their own different ways of choosing the candidates they did what's your take on it um when you talk you talk with different hrs they have their own different ways but the bottom line usually is how can we get the best candidate for this job how can we get someone who will come and fulfill exactly what we want that would be the basics but i will also mention this the jobs are normally advertised on hard skills like we are looking for an engineer an it person business management all these are what we call hard skills but when it comes to selection of the candidates and this is where the secret is they are normally normally selected on soft skills what is this that makes this person different from the other what are these uh, what are the things that make this person different do they have that extra personality extra certification extra skill extra kind of thing that they have the different things those are the things that make people stand out that would be my take hello kenya have no job ready to work anthony drop me uh, go to here submit your cv for free i can see here yeah, someone say thank you Get all these free resources, go to careerpoint.co.ke or careerpoint solutions forward slash resources. And until next time, I'm out. I can see Richard is joining us all the way in Nigeria. I'm happy. Thank you very much. I'll see you on Thursday on live. Tomorrow evening, we have a quick game show. Thursday, we have a live show. And yes, keep checking our website and especially YouTube is our hub where you will get to know everything that is happening.